Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be comparing three very popular AI tools that allow you to rewrite and humanize your content to bypass AI detection tools like originality.ai. So the three tools in which we'll be comparing will be undetectable.ai, Word AI, and Quillbot. So let's go ahead and get started to see which one of these tools is the best at allowing you to bypass AI detection tools. The first thing that we need to do is get some content from ChatGPT. So we'll be generating a blog post using the GPT 3.5 model. Okay, so here is the blog post in which we got back from ChatGPT, which talks about the art of public speaking. So let's go ahead and copy this over. We're going to first start by running a test on the content that we got back from ChatGPT, just to see how um, that compares in terms of its AI rating score. So as we can see, the content is 100% AI detected um, that we got back from ChatGPT. So now let's go ahead and first start by using undetectable.ai. This is one of the newer, but one of the best AI detection um, bypasser tools in the market. It's really, really easy to use. And in my experience, you're able to get some really good results. So first we're gonna paste in the content that we got back from ChatGPT. Then we're gonna click humanize. It should take about a minute, but after that, we'll test it on originality.ai to see how it stacks up. So while that's rewriting, the next tool that we'll be using is Word AI. So once you log into Word AI, you can either rewrite your articles or you can use the avoid AI detection tool. So essentially you will paste the content within Word AI and it'll rewrite that content to you so that you can bypass AI detection tools. And in my experience, um, changing the setting to change more allows you to get much more unique output that will be more human generated compared to if you left, left it at change less. So for this um, word AI um, test, we'll be changing the setting to change more. And let's go ahead and see how, again, this stacks up in comparison with some of the other tools. And lastly, we'll be using Quillbot. I don't have a paid plan for Quillbot, so unfortunately I won't be able to test most of the content from that article, but this will give us a, a good indicator as to whether or not Quillbot is suited um, to bypass AI detection tools. Okay, so all of the content has been loaded up. Undetectable.ai has finished rewriting the content. So let's go ahead and copy this over. And we're gonna do a new test on originality.ai and see what the new scores are. Okay, so this is the new content here. Let's go ahead and scan this. Okay, so as we can see, it's about 33% original and 67% AI. So what we can do actually is we can reset this and give it another try to see if we're able to get a higher AI detection score. But as we can see from our first test, it went from 100% AI to 33% percent um, human rating content so a little bit of an improvement but definitely not where you like to be if you're really focused on ai detection now let's go ahead and copy word ai's new output and let's see how this compares and again we're going to do a new scan and this is word ai and word ai is able to get us 44 percent original content um, compared to undetectable which was 33 percent. so we get a little bit of a better um, I'll put here from Word AI, and this is kind of surprising because most of the times when I do a test, honestly, undetectable AI does better than um, Word AI, but it really is dependent on the type of content in which you're testing. You're not always going to get the same results. So as we can see in this example, Word AI was able to give us 10% or 10 uh, points more in terms of our uh, human rating content. So lastly, let's go ahead and rewrite um, the content using Quillbot. So we're gonna rewrite the intro paragraph and see how this does in terms of AI detection. And it is 1% original and 99% AI. So now let's go ahead and use the standard model. So first we use the fluency model, but now we're using the standard uh, model. So again, I'm gonna copy this, make sure it's being copied properly. Then we're gonna do a new scan and see how this does. Okay, so about 2% original, but again, most of it is AI written and Quillbot is not that great, especially when it comes to the GPT or originally um, AI's new update. It's very hard for most AI um, rewriters to pass originality.ai. So Quillbot doesn't really work that well with the new update, but as we can see, Word AI and undetectable AI are pretty good. So again, that was just one test. Let's go ahead and do another test to see if we're able to get similar results from undetectable.ai and Word AI. Okay, so here is a blog post in which we get back from ChatGPT using the GPT 3.5 model. It talks about how to become a firefighter. So let's start with undetectable.ai. And again, I'm going to humanize the content. And we're going to do a new scan of avoiding AI detection and rewriting using Word AI. 
So while that's being loaded up, let's do a scan on originality.ai so we can see what is the original content without any rewriting. So this is um, directly what I got from ChatGPT. Okay, so we can see it's 100% AI and 0% original. Okay, so Word AI has finished um, rewriting the content a little bit quicker than undetectable. So let's go ahead and run a test using this output from Word AI. So becoming a firefighter. Okay, so this is Word AI test number two, which is the firefighting um, blog post, and it is 46% original and 54% AI. So not too bad by any means. You were able to get about 50 50 in terms of AI written and original content by just doing one rewrite using Word AI. Okay, so now here we have the content from undetectable.ai. Again, we're going to make sure we're copying this correctly. We're going to do a new test. Okay, so this is undetectable AI, and they were able to get 89% original content and 11% AI content in just one rewrite um, for this article. So as you can see, the results aren't always exactly the same. It really is dependent on the type of content in which you're writing. But in my experience, and for most of the tests that I've done, undetectable.ai was able to get me better results um, much quicker compared to Word AI. So that's my comparison between undetectable.ai, Word AI, and Quillbot. I would go with undetectable over both of these tools, but a close second is Word AI. It is very, very good, but sometimes you have to rewrite it a couple of times for you to get um, the output level or the human level that you want to get. But overall, I wouldn't worry too much about AI detection, especially within your content, because Google is allowing you to have AI rating content. You just need to make sure that you're focused on creating high quality um, content that satisfies the search query. So if someone's searching up any specific topic, if you're able to write a really, really in-depth and high quality blog post, you will rank even if you're using an AI copywriter. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well. If you want to get a higher human content score when using Word AI, you can rewrite the content a second time, and that usually does the trick to get you a higher um, human content uh, and a lower AI detection score. So let's say you run it once uh, and the, the scores. So let's say. <clears throat> so let's say. You, so let's say you. So let's. So, let's, so, let's, so if you rewrite. So if you rewrite the content once and it doesn't do um, as well, you can then rewrite it once more and it should do better when it comes to AI detection.